the world and its inhabitants are suffering from how products and services are produced. Forests are being demolished, air, water and soil is being polluted, and millions of men, women and children are working in inhumane conditions. Sustainable Development Goal 12 aims to stimulate responsible production. How can innovation and entrepreneurship help this cause? Clearly, current ways of producing goods and services are unsustainable. If we don't take action now to change our production systems, we run the risk that our society will be seriously disrupted. For instance, because of rising water levels, drought or the standstill of crucial systems due to the unavailability of key components. Also, the future of companies themselves is at stake, because consumers, regulators and NGOs are increasingly looking for and demanding sustainable alternatives. Also, if companies keep things as they are, there will simply be more and more shortages of a company's supplies, such as specific crops, minerals and materials. Entrepreneurship is part of the solution. Our students are increasingly starting enterprises, aiming for a fruitful combination of profit and impact. However, to renew and replace existing ways of producing and delivering products and services, we also need entrepreneurial behavior in existing companies. But changing well-established companies is far from easy. Understandably, company structures and cultures are entrenched in success formulas of past and present. So, how can companies develop impactful entrepreneurial cultures and a serious capability to innovate and renew themselves? Several elements need to be in place for companies to become truly entrepreneurial and capable of delivering innovations. I will explain a few of them. First, Rather than only stressing the urgent need for change, senior leaders have to sketch a desirable and compelling vision of the future in order to engage and motivate employees. And sustainability should be an integral part of that vision. Second, this appealing vision of the future has to be accompanied by a strong commitment to specific long-term goals. In this regard, it is very promising that companies nowadays explicitly start to integrate sustainable development goals in their innovation and research and development strategies. Furthermore, an increasing number of companies is reporting annually on their achievements regarding responsible production. Third, employees need to be empowered with sufficient time, resources, training and coaching. This allows them to experiment with new ideas to improve and renew production systems and to scale them if successful. Philips is an excellent example of a company that is serious about the combination of innovation and sustainability. Given its commitment to become a fully circular business, it is carefully developing and nurturing a strong innovation capability and entrepreneurial culture. Interestingly, to become truly excellent at innovation, we also find that senior leadership needs innovation leaders throughout the organization. They serve to day in day out support and encourage creativity and entrepreneurship amongst their colleagues. These so-called innovation drivers tend to be experienced, passionate and informal leaders with strong connections inside and outside of the organization. At Erasmus Center for Entrepreneurship, we are empowering such innovation leaders to develop the entrepreneurial competence and attitude of their colleagues and thereby to create the much desired and required sustainable production systems of the future. To summarize, Current ways of sourcing raw materials and processing them are unsustainable. Leaders need to seriously commit to develop a strong entrepreneurial competence in their organizations and need to set ambitious goals to innovate their production systems. This promises to result in companies with sustainable and future-proof business models that are motivating to work for, positive to do business with and therefore likely to outperform those companies that stick to old routines. To realize their full potential, a key takeaway is that companies need to acknowledge and develop the entrepreneurial leadership talent that is present throughout their organizations. Whether as a startup entrepreneur or as an innovation driver in an established organization, you can drive the transition to responsible production.